a call to arms, tip of the scales. You helped the Gobson family pay the Gablanos. You gave Nomos hope and rallied the Fey. You defended Thanalonia against the Red Worm Dragons. And you collapsed the caverns leading into Rage's lair, which has become his tomb. The tide has turned. Join the rebels as they set their sights on Mox City, where Mantaroth rallies the Chaos Legionnaires for a final stand. It's time to end this liberty or death. Vonak! With rage trapped within his lair and the other red dragons fighting over control of Mount Redworm's flight, you return to the kingdom of the High Elves. No sooner had you caught your breath than Bera Dallin and her Dauntless arrived on Tower Griffins. It seems the rebels have liberated nearly every sovereign splinter of Praetoria. The last holdout is the Mox Confederation, where Mantaroth stands at the head of the army of the Tokatag Calamity in Mox City. To defeat them, Baradalin plans to assault the Golden Arena, which the Chaos Empire has converted into an arms depot. But the Dauntless can't do it alone. They'll need your mage wagons and your help to take it. Seize the Golden Arena and take the Legion's weapons and armor to Elias Max Pruitt and his Mock City rebels. Help them defeat Mantaroth and the Takatag army. Slay Silas of the Rift, and the Dark God Ul will lose its hold. The Legions will crumble. You'll be hailed a hero. And it's all happily ever after from there. But... Something lurks beneath Praetoria in the caverns of the Lower Deep. Something indescribably huge with an insatiable appetite. That something is your next legendary summoner. That something is your biggest legendary summoner. That something is your last rebellion airdrop. Nidhugga! Since before the reach of memory or history, the immense dragon known as Nighugga has slumbered beneath Praetoria, buried in the nethermost reaches of the deep. But when the legions of chaos tore open its rifts in the boundaries that separated the Splinterlands from the other realms of existence, Nighugga stirred. For he is a guardian dragon and custodian of these ley lines. He rose from the chasm in which he'd buried himself, shook off a mountain of rock and debris, and enlisted the denizens of the deep to travel to the surface and observe. Soon he learned of the Chaos Empire's trespass. He learned of the Splinterlander's failure to stop them. And he found them both guilty. Praetoria trembles as Ninhaga stretches his wings and tears at the earth with claws and teeth. Soon he will rise, both vengeful and ravenous. That's right, Splinterheads. The last conflict of the rebellion is upon us soon, and the airdrop card was announced today. As you can see, it's a big one. Ten mana. Legendary. Dragon Splinter. Takes minus one armor and minus one health from the opponent, but it has force reduction which is a debilitation to your team and reduces your max team size by one. What do you get out of it? You can choose either Blast and Death Blow for three characters on the opponent's team or Speed and Execute for three characters on your team. 4,000 copies will be airdropped uh, to participating players and it will take 425 reward chances to get a guaranteed BCX of the card. As a legendary, it will take 11 BCX to make a max level copy. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new card, which is the last airdrop for Rebellion.
It has a number of cool uh, powers uh, associated with it. It has a high cost and it has a debilitation. This has been Bronze Dragon. If you continue to like this coverage of Splinterlands, please like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you'd like to hear about next in the comments. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you in Splinterlands. Thank you.